Looky here. We got Arthur the Law People's Man. People's getting hungry. What you eating, Dutch? Evelyn Miller. Of course. <laughs> that old windbag. He's no windbag, son. He is a, a seer. He sees things that we don't know yet. I know. I'm just teasing. You're so, just afraid. Are we supposed to call you Sheriff your Morgan then? Because you might not like what you find. You're probably right. You know, you know, you always had the most incredible way of putting things. Mr. Miller has a way of putting things. Me, I'm, I'm just an old outlaw, not prepared to go quietly. Oh, you're more than that, Dutch. You're... You're... Well... You're amazing. Arthur! Arthur, how you been? I've been real worried. What do you want? Don't be like that. Uh, you know, just a... Uh... Just a few bucks, and I'm short. Get lost. Well, oh, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. Arthur. Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Ah. Uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is... Out there, just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. A civil war? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. I was hoping you'd be in. If it's how they told it, it's gonna be something all right. We'll see. How's things? Okay, then. Come on. It's this way. On me. Ciao. I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrifying. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lemoyne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a... A glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west is... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right. Decent folks. But some places down here, 
They judge different. Well, hell no. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold still shiny. And their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Yeah. It feels like we're close. It's a run-down old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna wanna strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Well, we got some wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Now where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? You see that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Hear that? Someone's on the track. Look there, a wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Those crates in the back. They look like explosives to you? Could be. Worth a follow, at least. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey. Big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Get down and come on. Come on. We can get a view on them from that wall up there. Bring your side of right. Okay? I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. You see anything? Yes. Yes. There you are. Almost a militia. They got men covering the house, down by the road. We'd do well to draw them into one spot if we're gonna make a pass at this. What else? You ain't seen anything worth shooting or stealing? Can you look again for me? Hey, move that scope over to the right. I know dynamite crates when I see them. You got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for performance. So, what are we doing? 
I'm gonna hit him head on. You save your play acting for Jose and the girls. <laughs> Fine by me. As soon as you shoot, I'll go. Hey! You all being right! They might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. These fellas dealing arms. There might be guns in these way. You got anything? Not yet. What you got, Arthur? This one looks good. Search it. Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Shady Bell. In one of our wagons. Hold up. We was uh, doing some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of folk we deal with. Our business was conducted to the satisfaction of all parties. Until now, that is. Nope. No. Something don't feel right about this. Not him and not you neither, Yankee. Get these lying bastards! Ah! Off and let's go! Ah! Leonard, Leonard, Leonard. 
I'm looking, all right? I can't see anyone chasing us. I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth dragon. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like him, you know? Well, so do I. That's my better judgment. Just worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackboard. But, no, but nothing. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts, we know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Yeah. camps in these trees up here. Let's get there. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. I'm still confused by this lawman look. So, what do you think of the place? Seems fine, for now. Yep, should buy us a bit of time, I hope. All right, well, I should be getting on. Sounds good.
You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You're... Thank you. My God, what a woman. She's, this'll get her killed for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There. There they are. Ladies. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed! I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please! Do what? Fight this mob? They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hip, hip, hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally, I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep. And the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food and we fetch the water. Singing songs now, now. of freedom and glory. Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. Me. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. We sing for suffrage for women to be free. A ballot for the ladies, a vote for you and me. This is our cry of freedom, our power is not small. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Oh, easy, for the ladies, a vote for you and me. This is our cry of freedom. Our power is not small. For women's equal liberty, this is the You'll damn us all with this sin. You'll damn us all. Head out. Head out. Oh, do give it a rest, you sorry 
beautiful. Mr. Morgan, I give you the male of the species. Well, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant. A little further, please. Stop just past the bank. Those are the steps, Mr. Morgan. Stop in front there, and then all you need to do is listen. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Come on! Come on! Go home! Shut your mouth! What are you doing? Well, man! Oh, my God! Shit! Cause all this trouble! You don't even know what you're saying! Gentlemen, yeah. this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. Oh. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals? Oh. Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Fair, equal, and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Oh. Yeah. Founding fathers, oh. not founding mothers, you hey, silly you old goat. His philosophy dependent hey. on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. Yeah, you need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always was Bo. a cucky little... Bo, not we just leave him? Well, who the hell is this? Speak harsh about Follow me, Ronnie. Oh, or uh, what? You'll hit me? <gasps> Come on. Sir, Shh. can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We are all Americans. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. And of equality. A land of progress. Look at the beautiful land we have built. But you don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me, Everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful! Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... Artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here. Your payment. Thank you. Excuse me.
because we are here today yeah. for a very special occasion. Yeah. Woo it is <laughs> imperative that we reestablish sanity yeah. and supremacy before it is too late. Our numbers are waning. Thanks to the fools in Congress uh, and their ludicrous ideas. Uh, but today, we grow one yeah, strong yeah, yeah, yeah. as we that anoint day. a new brother. Yeah. You're gonna walk into keep a sacred cult. Yeah. Please, yeah. step yeah. forward and kneel. Right. Do you choose to accept the light? Yes, sir. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah. yeah. All right. Come on. Yeah. Let here we go. The eternal ah. light shine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. You done good, girl. There he is. What's the sheriff's costume all about? That last stew I had was pretty damn good. Glad to hear it. Arthur. What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. <sighs> Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. There she is. Hello, Arthur. Oh, thanks. I'm bored, Arthur. Are there any jobs going? I'm sure there will be soon. I'll let you know. All right, Arthur. Hello, Arthur. You spoken a Dutch since you got back? Yes, Morgan. Air is cleared. We're moving on. You're lucky he made me come for you.
For the love of God, stop giving me that lost puppy look. So, you're speaking to me at least. Oh, it is always about your needs, isn't it? I have never known a woman with so many needs. You don't know the first thing about a woman's needs. How selfish are you? Are you even aware of the price on my head? The pressures I'm under? If you'd only talk to me, I could help. I want to help you, Dutch, but there's this wall. You can help by leaving me alone so I can actually think for once. You're a bastard, Dutch Vanderlind.